tubers. <clears throat> Trying to get me a fire going here and get started. <clears throat> it's a bit cold out. Last few days, uh, last few days here, it's been like in the uh, uh, maybe mid 40s. One day it got up to like 50, and now we've got a, another cold front moving in. Trying to get the old fireplace cranked up here. Get some uh, good warm air going. Got the compressor fired up. And uh, we've got a few pieces cut for the uh, for the battery box. Got all my, you know, my angle where I was cutting that. Got that cut. I'm gonna try to get it welded up today. And really, kind of wondering um, what YouTubers want to see because I try to put a little variety. I try to put a little variety in the channel. Uh, different things you know and it seems like to me just looking at the hits on my channel that a lot of people will come in they'll hit on they hit on like the project launch you know for uh, my dad's van it got a lot of hits <clears throat> not too many people look at the cooking kind of stuff so it seems to me like the crowd is, is more interested in uh, uh, upcoming projects I, rather than the actual work that goes on. I'm not sure. It's just something I've been kind of rolling over in my head, so I'd appreciate it if, if you guys would leave comments, you know, what you want to see, because it's not, I want to get on there and bore everybody to death with uh, just what, what would be considered nonsense or whatever. Um, I tried to really, when it, when I thought about the channel and I, I wanted to launch it, it was going to be more of a, a a basic mechanics, you know, how, not really how things work, but more how I go about doing it. Because I remember when I was younger, being uh, intimidated to get into something, you know, I thought it was just a little something I could, like setting in play or or whatever, I was a little more, a little too intimidated to do it. So I would maybe go have a buddy do it for me, or, or show me how, or whatever. Uh, not just with in play, but anything, you know. Um, I remember being in my late teens and, and uh, early twenties, I'd ask a lot of questions. I'd drive the older guys nuts, you know, asking them how this works and how that works, and whatever. But I just really wanted to know, so. That was kind of the point of, you know, originally when I launched the channel, what I was going to do is just show how to go about things like with the, uh, I, I'm not a welder, that's for sure. I couldn't really, I don't think I could teach anybody to weld. I just stick things together. That's, that's pretty much it. But I do enjoy, I practice at it. You know, I want to be a better welder all the time. But there's, there's like welding is a craft, you know, there's a, a lot to anything that you do, you know. Um, but yeah, let me know. You know, let me know what you want, what you want to see, what's interesting, or whatever. Because uh, with my mind, with uh, the way it works, the ADD or ADHD, I don't always think really. You know, my thoughts shoot from one place to the next all the time, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. But <clears throat> at any rate, kind of help me out here. Let me know what you want to see, what you find interesting. Um, so I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this fire going good and, and get me another cup of coffee and I'm gonna start welding. I'll show you the pieces I've got laid out and uh, what we're gonna do with it. So uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Got my pieces cut. This is the old uh, the old bed rail that I was telling you that you know I had years ago just kind of actually I think my dad squirreled it away or whatever and I kind of gathered a bunch of pieces up and whatever but I'm gonna get this thing all squared up you know and uh, I'm gonna mess up on my cut a little bit right there but it's okay I can fill it with weld um, I'm gonna get everything squared up and I'm gonna get this uh, welded <coughs> excuse me and then we're gonna we're gonna fit it on the engine stand so uh, in the next following few, you know, clips here, whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be welding it, squaring it, and so on and so forth. Then we'll get it installed, and I'll kind of update you on the progress. Here. 
Alright guys, got the battery box welded up. Did a little work inside of it and I want to ground those welds down so the battery sits uh, flat on the angle and not on the weld. At any rate, we're ready to uh, uh, kind of get this uh, cleaned up and uh, welded on the engine stand. So I got the battery box on there and got a single coat of paint on it. So uh, not sure if I've gone over this or not, but I've got my uh, oil line ran I hooked up my uh, or mounted rather my coil got it mounted a uh, few little things to do with the wiring I've got to get uh, my the little tiny adapters that screw on the terminals on the coal to accept the positive and the ground from the uh, distributor the module there uh, that's pretty much it I 